asking uh, a very broad question. How did you uh, get into all this? How did you get into the whole world of the Power Rangers? Well, and acting and all that? I started, I went to a, an agency called the Kids Agency, I believe. And there was two agents there. Now, I had long hair, okay, before I got Power Rangers, all right? Cutting my hair, we all, we were all black belts, right? You know what I'm saying, long hair, right? We were all, uh, we were, well, we were I, I was kidding. I had an afro back then, so. Hey, no, it's like this. Zordon? <laughs> anyway, sorry, okay. All right. I, I'll get serious again. All right, so I went to the agency and they're like, well, you know, you can't play an everyday kid, so you need to cut your hair, and I was like, Cut my hair. All right, so when I cut my hair, I felt like pretty naked, right? Then I put clothes on. So, um, so I went back to the agency and told them, I was kind of felt weird, you know, walking around. I thought everybody was looking at me and stuff. So I had a haircut, I went back, I'm like, oh, uh, you know, can you represent me? Uh, you know, I'm ready to do this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't have time. I'm booking a Coca-Cola commercial. Then I try to calm myself. Really, I'd like you to represent me. No, no, step in the hallway. So I was persistent, you know, kind of keep asking questions. Then he gave me a script called Phantoms, which was Power Rangers. It was called Phantoms at the time. And it said Green Ranger. So I was thinking, I'm going to be a forest ranger, right? Because <laughs> no one ever heard of the show. Mm -hmm. So I was a karate guy. And when I auditioned, I did excellent on the karate. But when I acted, it was like my lip, I was nervous, you know, cotton mouth. My lip was sticking up. And I had to say these weird lines like, Come on, Zordon, you know, it's us. We can save the world. And I was thinking, what is this? <laughs> Who is Zordon? I don't even understand. A floating head. Oh, uh, I see. This is not a porno, right? Okay. All right. <laughs> so so I, I got the part, and then I had all these girls that were auditioning with me. I, I, I had the call back, and I was the only guy. So there was about 10 girls. So now I'm thinking is this a guy part or a girl part, <laughs> right? And then I wanted to take him out in the bathroom because I wanted the role, right? So I was just gonna hide and take him out, right? Because I wanted the role. Take all the girls out, then I'll have the role. So I didn't do that because of police and stuff, you yeah, know? No. So I auditioned and then I got the role of the Green Ranger. Now, they had me working in the hallway before I booked the show. And they said, we want you to teach all these girls karate because they're gonna audition. And I agreed and then that's when I started teaching Tweet, right? The Yellow Ranger who passed away. I started teaching, uh, I know, close to my birthday, around this time. It was around this time. Anyway, um, so I got the role. I started, you know, teaching her and stuff and teaching. Now I'm out there sweating, and I'm not getting paid, right? So I'm thinking, man, I better get this role because I'm sweating and I'm teaching. And then I booked the role of the Green Ranger, only 10 episodes. That's all I booked. And then when I, you know, got off the show, everybody freaked out. Kids were calling Fox saying they're not eating it's Saban. <laughs> They're not eating. Moms and dads were mad. You need to bring this character back. Then Saban came to me after we went to a restaurant, in, uh, a Chinese restaurant, and he said, you're going to be a big star. Then there was chopsticks, and then I felt obligated to use the chopsticks. I never did. He thought I was in karate, so I used a chopstick and catch flies. Mm -hmm. That's not true. <laughs> so I'm trying to be cool, thinking, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be a big star, and my chopsticks are going like this, right? <laughs> so then we go to his house, real big house, rich house. Right? He says, uh, would you like something to drink? And then he said, would you like a Pellegrino? Uh, no, no, I don't drink alcohol. He said, that's sparkling water. You see, rich people drink sparkling water, <laughs> right? That tastes horrible. So now I'm drinking sparkling water and I just don't like it. So that's how I became the Green Ranger. <laughs> long answer, right? Uh, your, your martial arts background was obviously important uh, played an important part of, of getting the role. Um, what motivated you to get into martial arts? I was four years old, and I was walking by a karate school, and it was Red Dragon Karate, very big karate schools, and I saw this girl doing karate. Now, at that time, I thought she was an old lady, right? Probably mm -hmm. younger than me, mm -hmm. right? We don't think we get older. Mm -hmm. I'm only 28, so anyway. Right, right. All right, 20, 20, I think 25, I'm not too sure. Just anyway, like, just like me. something like that. Yeah, you just get younger, right? Pretty soon I'm going to be small and then I'm going to be a little baby. <laughs> anyway, sorry. So I was walking by karate school. Oh, sorry. And uh, I saw this older lady doing karate and I just got hooked on it. I said, that's what I want to do. And I did it every single day. 
I went to the karate school. I don't do other sports. That's why in Power Rangers, when we do basketball scenes, I'm in big trouble. Uh, I kept missing it and missing it and missing it. They kept saying, cut. Finally, when they said cut, the ball went in. And I was like, oh, oh. And they're like, cameras are not rolling. And I went, oh. <laughs> then I skated in the movie. That wasn't me. Because I couldn't. The director was like, ooh, rollerblade. I said, I don't rollerblade. I kick people. <laughs> and uh, then I got in karate. I was an instructor at the age of 12. Now I have, um, how many karate schools? Two, uh, four. Four karate schools, sorry. Uh, four karate schools and about 1,000 or 1,300 students under me. And uh, I was a teacher at the age of 12. I was really small, but I thought I was big like the chihuahuas, you know, like rah, 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 rah. <laughs> So people come in, yeah, how you doing? I'm here teaching karate. And then, uh, you know, and then I booked the show and then, you know, I try to do both and stayed active in martial arts. And how does that transition into your current career as uh, MMA? Um, I think it transitioned good. Because I read an article from Forrest Griffin, right? You guys know Forrest Griffin, you don't watch UFC. And in the article, it said that he was never doing that to be a UFC star, that he did that just because he likes punching people in the face. <laughs> so I read that, and all for fun though. And uh, I read that, and then I got into it, and then I started the company Jesus Didn't Tap, which means tap out, you know, and he never tapped out. And um, then I thought, that's why I like MMA. I like it because, you know, you can punch people, real people. Right? But see, every time I spar with people and they don't get knocked out or something, or when I'm hitting them, I'm like, spark, spark, spark. And then when it gets too dangerous, I just yell, it's more of the time. And then, and then nothing happens. It's like the elevator thing. Nothing happens. And then I, I look, I'm, I'm just kidding, man. We just keep fighting. So I love the mixed martial arts. Okay. Um, I wanted to, to know. Uh, after uh, all the different things that you've done through your career, that like you've been an instructor, so young, own your own school, uh, Power Rangers, and you're doing MMA, on, when you look back throughout your entire career, what does being on Power Rangers like, mean to you? I would probably, you know, my little girl, she's seven, and she loves Power Rangers, so it feels good for her, you know, until she grows up. You see, when you guys were in high school, you denied you watched Power Rangers. I know. I know. You guys, you watch Power Rangers? No, man. I'm, I'm too cool for that. But yet you run home and you watch Tommy, Kimberly, yeah, right? So my little girl loves it. And to her, I'm a superhero, you know, and that feels good. And to all you guys, I'm a superhero, right? And I, I pretty much live the life. I don't drink. I don't, you know, these are things that... I feel that I need to keep an image because I was a superhero. If you met your superhero and I was, hey man, nice to meet you, right? Kind of, kind of fat and stuff. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying for being a superhero. <laughs> and if I was, there's no way I can get in my Green Ranger suit. My, all right, my arms are too big for those bands. I had to take those things. Uh, and second, well, silly question, but in your MMA career, are you afraid that they're gonna nickname you like the Green Ranger? You know what? Here's the thing. Some people do. All right. Now, everybody wants to fight me, but I have, I have nothing to lose, you see? Because if they win, then it's like you beat the Green Ranger, dude. Everyone's going to hate you, right? <laughs> and if they lose, they got their butt kicked by the Green Ranger, right? So pretty much I have nothing to lose. With that question, I have one. Okay. Uh, sir, you see that line? <laughs> Okay, all right, all right, he works here. We gotta let him go. Yes, I know, I know. He said the stuff, me staff. Okay, all right. Okay, what motivated you to come back to the series when you were uh, going back to the series at Dino Talker? I had two people, Doug, Ann, uh, Doug, <laughs> Doug Sloan and Ann Knapp, who I worked with very early in my career. Then they were in charge of Disney. So I just got motivated to go back because, you know, I mean, instead of wearing spandex on the weekends, right? <laughs> For extra money in the pink one. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, I went back and I did them a favor to pick the ratings up. Out of the five Rangers you play, um, which, which was your favorite? Well, that's, that's a question people asked earlier. And I like the Rangers with the vest, okay? I just do the shields. So when Austin came back as the Gold Ranger, I was like, what? He has a shield. Because I started feeling, oh, I cut my hair, I feel naked. Oh, I don't have a shield, I feel naked. You know what I'm saying? So I like 
the Rangers with the shield. We kind of bummed out, you know. And the thing about it is, not not the Power Rangers. I just like wearing the shield to poke the other people in the eyes, right? <laughs> so it was. That's all I miss is just scooting next to someone and the, the action. Boom. Oh man. So then when I didn't have a shield, I was like, and they're like, "What's wrong?" I'm like, "Nothing, man. <laughs> I'm just getting down. You know what's up." Uh, which are your favorite memorable moments? Uh, well, the, the episode I like is Fighting Spirit, okay? And uh, Dino Thunder. And the reason why I like that is because I was in the hospital. You know what I'm saying? A little bit more violent than not. So I was in the hospital as the, uh, you know, as the Black Ranger and stuff. And then that was easy to film because I was just like... <laughs> and they're like, cut! And I was like... <laughs> and I fell asleep. So sometimes, you know, when you fall asleep, you got this, right? <laughs> And you know, sometimes when you fall asleep somewhere, you, you, you're like, and then you try to play that off, yeah, like yeah. you didn't twitch, especially when you kick a seat in front, you, it just looks weird. You can't play that off, you know? So uh, I think the favorite you know, be, memories is being the Green Ranger, because it was exciting for me, you know? It was like, the candle's burning, <laughs> you know? So uh, I would say the Green Ranger moments, you know? Uh, I wonder, because you were in the, uh, in the Power Ranger, which was something so popular, and now you're in the MMA, which is also something very popular. Uh, did it help you, the transition, uh, um, being in one, at the center of one, and the center of another? And what about the fans? Have the fans, accept, uh, the MMA, have accepted you uh, like they did on the Power Rangers? How was that transition for you? It was good. Hey, but you asked Joe like three or four questions in the press conference. Well, transitioning to MMA, I think is a good transition. You know, a lot of people with Power Rangers, you know, think it's fake and there's nothing fake about MMA. And I think it was a good transition because people always now with MMA, oh, you're my hero on TV. Now you're beating people and you're my hero now. So I think the transition was, you know, interesting for the fans. My question is, uh, how does it feel to be such an iconic uh, role model for new kids and old kids alike, like also here in this room? Yeah, uh, okay. So it's very strange to have a mom talk to, say, her 25-year-old, right, watch Power Rangers. So, you know, you're going from one generation to another generation, but that 25-year-old has a four-year-old, right? So there's three generations. I can't handle another generation because that means I'll be really old. But um, anyway, it's interesting to see that transition from generation, generation, generation. They're watching Dino Thunder. These guys watch old school, you know? And because um, when kids come up, they're like, hey, Tommy, you know, uh, are you his dad? No, no. No, I'm not his dad. No, anyway. Uh, but it was uh, <laughs> three generations was interesting. I actually have a question about your uh, martial arts. I wondered uh, what martial arts styles you tend to lean towards now. Uh, well, I do American karate. I love Muay Thai. Um, and believe it, my wife's a good fighter. So when we get mad, we go in the cage. No, for real. We skydive together. You know what I'm saying? And you all know Jerry Springer, right? Well, that's the only place where you can like hit a girl and not get arrested and the cage. But it's not like that. She beats me up. Sometimes I like it. I'm not going to lie. Um, so I do American karate. So I, I lean towards the four and, and Muay Thai. Then I, you know, jiu-jitsu, wrestling was kind of weird getting into. Because as in high school with the wrestlers, I never wanted to wear spandex. Never knew I was going to get stuck in spandex for 10 years. Right, right. So I should have wrestled. Okay. Uh, I'd like to know how your experience was with working with Disney and everything on Dino Thunder. Uh, working with Disney... You know, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, Disney's cheap and so is Saban, right? And uh, I don't mean that with getting paid, I mean that in a way. But then I started thinking that, you know, see, Power Rangers was cheesy, but kids like cheese, no matter what, right? They want a cheese stick, they want a cheese sandwich, and they don't eat pasta besides macaroni and cheese, you see? So when I watched the show, I was thinking it's cheesy, but then like kids are gonna eat it up because it's cheesy, right? So working with them was kind of the same. You know, um, it's different though. Disney lost the touch of what Power Rangers is all about. Yeah. They lost the touch because they had a, a producer from Mork and Mindy. You remember that show? So he don't know anything about Power Rangers. You see, when you go to Starbucks, they have a special talk, right? You go in there and like, Avente, this, that, Mocha, I don't even understand. Undertow, I don't understand what they're saying. Disney didn't understand the Power Ranger talk. So, you know, actors will come up, run to the spot, and then, 
all right, guys. I'm like, no, dude, that's not how you do it. You got to run. All right, guys, let's do it. <laughs> right? <laughs> Special talk, just like Starbucks. They do. Um, my question is, uh, how was it working one of my crush, uh, Amy Jo Johnson, in the Power Rangers? I love Suzuki. Uh, well, you know, working with someone for 12 to 16 hours a day, it's just, you know, a long time working six days a week. So we all had professional relationships, but uh, it was weird because the, the six rangers would split in three. Three hung out and three hung out. And that was like me, David, and uh, with me, Billy, and Kimberly. Uh, when, do, you, do you consider yourself to be someone in the UFC? Well, you know, it, being in the UFC is like being a big movie star. The thing about it now is I have a lot of interest in doing big movies. You know, uh, I have a you know, really good reel. So right now, you have to understand, the people that are 25 or 30 are now executive producers in studios, which, oh, we like Jason Frank. So I'm having you know, opportunities of that. I love the UFC. I just don't want to get cut from here to here. I hate elbows, so I'm always real careful with elbows. But I like to. It just takes a long time to do something like that. It's like being a big actor. You know, you got to work it and then do a big movie. And, you know, so you need a lot of fights. But, you know, it's fun. So, um, you know, I'm hoping one day. Uh, Hi. Uh, uh, while you were starting to be a Power Ranger and coming back for a different season, did you ever think, I'm going to be a Power Ranger forever, kicking butt? Bam. You know, Bam. well, you know, nothing's forever, you see. So uh, I, I thought about, you know, having karate schools. I was, you know, so nothing was forever. And, um, but it seems now as the older it gets, the more popular it got, right? And uh, so nothing was forever. I always plan ahead. If you think that, you look at all the other actors, what are they doing? You see, I thought ahead, businesses, wanted to provide for my family, and not be an actor to work in a restaurant. I'm gonna tell you something, since you asked that. Twee left the show. I went to the restaurant to celebrate another show I was doing. Guess who served me? Twee. Asked me if I wanted anything to drink. I felt so awkward telling her, yeah, I want some water, yeah, I want some food. I felt uncomfortable because she, most actors in Hollywood are waiters and waitresses. So when I work a job like that, what will people say? What did you do with all your money? You want drugs, right? What are you working on a restaurant for? I never wanted to do that. All right, and um, being the sixth ranger, did you always feel it was a bit unfair that you were always the fair ranger by default? Like he's the extra one, he's the powerful one, he's got his own sword, he's not co-piloting with anyone. Yeah, it was interesting, but there are a lot of haters saying, this ain't the Tommy show. You know, I, I heard about it on the website, this ain't the Tommy show, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. Then they turned the opposite direction. I did my job, I was happy at what I did. I didn't, you know, force them for money, force them for this, it was a job. Acting was a passion of mine. I love acting, because you get to be someone different you know, everyone has problems, so when you're someone different, those problems don't exist. Mm -hmm. you. Thank you for joining us here at the, at the First One Puerto Rico and at the Puerto Rico Comic Con. Again, we are very, very, very happy to have you with us. Uh